You were born and raised in Salinas, California, which for those of you who are unfamiliar, it's pretty much in between Santa Cruz and Monterey. What was your childhood like and what was your family life like growing up? My mom and dad were from Nebraska and my dad was in the military and he got based in Fort Ord in, uh, in a military base. So that's how I ended up out here. So I didn't really have a lot of family here, like none of my family outside of my mom and brother were here. And then they they ended up staying. My dad moved back to Wyoming. They got separated when I was when I was young. But it was really just me, my brother and my mom. Football didn't come until later. I got cut when I was, I think, in fourth grade. I went out, went out to play and they cut me. I, I was like the last guy running. I didn't hit anybody. I never was really good. I never could really hit anybody, but definitely wasn't fast, wasn't big, wasn't strong, wasn't hitting anyone. So they cut me and then played flag football for a couple of years. And then I thought baseball was going to be my sport in junior high. So then football came in. I grew a foot, played running back outside linebacker early in my career, grew a foot. They needed a quarterback. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try it out. And I wasn't good, but I, I couldn't play anything else really at that point. So that's that was the beginning of my quarterback career. My mom did an awesome job. She was a huge influence on me and my brother. Um, kind of had the foresight of wanting to put me in a certain private Catholic school. We weren't religious, but she knew that like Palma was a high school here and they were known for having good sports. So she she put us in there. I started there in junior high. Um, I had a coach come in my freshman year and basically is still like a mentor to me um, in, in life, but was like, basically taught me how to play the position. He taught me everything, taught me how to read a defense, my footwork, how to throw a ball and spent like five days a week, two hours a day with me. Um, and I could, we could do a whole episode on, on that guy's life and what he's done for me. But that, that was um, a huge turning for, point for me and playing football because then I, at that point I stopped playing baseball because I realized I couldn't pitch and play football. <laughs> um, so it was just basketball and football for me. Um, and I just progressively got better because I just stuck with him. This guy kept showing up every day, taught me everything, spent so much time with me. And for what, like, I think it was just always in me to just, like, I was super competitive, wanted to get, I saw that I was getting better every day. And um, it was showing up on the field. I was not so good my freshman year, got really good my JV year, got better my junior year, got better my senior year. So, yeah, that guy um, was a big influence in my life and still is.